Hello, I'm Wild Love. I'm back. Been going through a saga. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? But to be honest, adversity builds character. So, I fell at work here back in July. <clears throat> they act like it's my damn fault. You know how the workers' comp people do. So, they gonna so called fire me. They gonna take, they gonna move me to another position. And, and think I'm going to take a $2 pay cut. Do you really think I'm going to work second shift, $8 an hour, getting off at 11.30 at night, getting getting a risk? It's really a risk for a black man at 11.30 at night because police pulled me over, say I had a gun, ain't even got a damn gun, killed me. You see what I'm saying? See where I'm going with this at? But anyhow, I'm in therapy, right? <laughs> therapy right up the street. So it's two black men two black men has really done changed America on things we didn't look at things that's been going on for so long even on strike the YouTube Me Too movement whatever you call it these two black men I know you think about it you know I know you probably say well he gonna say Martin Luther King Malcolm X Melvin Edwards you know what I'm saying Louis Farrakhan you know nah they, yeah, no, they in a different category. I'm talking about Michael Vick and O.J. Simpson. Michael Vick and O.J. Simpson. First of all, I'm going to start with O.J. Let's go with O.J. first. Back in the days, I remember this. Me and my two kids' mama, man, we was, man, we was in the car fighting, man. I'm talking about thumping fight. Cop came up with his billy club knocked on the window and said, y'all take that shit home. Now, after OJ, you you can't even say this right now. Bitch, shut your motherfucking mouth. You keep on running your motherfucking mouth, I'm gonna kill you. That's eight years. That's eight years. You're gonna get locked up. You gotta make bond. You gotta get a damn good lawyer. And you finna get eight years for just saying that now after OJ. And everybody know OJ guilty. Come on, man. John was a running back in the NFL. This man is, you. if you watch any of his footage, this man was running over three, anywhere from 250 to 350-pound men. Running over, run dead over. You think he can't bust down a damn door and go in there and kill two white folks? A little phony, little phony, little scrawny-ass white man, a thrill-ass white woman, you think he can't kill him? Come on, now. OJ was guilty. But the reason why they didn't convict OJ, because for the first time, black people came together. Street niggas, educated niggas, we, we was tired, we was fed up. So that's why they found him not guilty. All right, that's enough OJ. Let's go to Michael Vick. Let's go to Michael Vick. I ain't talking about Michael Jordan, let's go to Michael Vick. Now, Michael Vick. Highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Highest contract, highest paid quarterback in the NFL. I'm talking about this man was making more than Brady and Peyton Manning. $177 million contract. He goes to see his motherfucking cousin, Leroy. Leroy takes him in the back. Shows him two goddamn pit bulls fighting. Two goddamn dogs ain't worth $250 a piece. Together they ain't worth it. He got infatuated over that. He got into that bullshit. Let me tell you something. If I was worth $177 million and I go to Lebanon, my hometown, and my cousin called me in the back and showed me two pet bulls fighting, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask him, so, so what's this? Man, this is what I want you to get into. This is what I want you to invest in, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. This, 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 this is where it's at, cuz. I'm telling you. I'm gonna hit leave. I'm gonna hit my cousin right dead in his motherfucking mouth. Bitch, you got to be out your rabbit motherfucking mind. I'm worth 177 million dollars. I'm playing in front of goddamn it sold out arenas. I'm a football player. I'm a quarterback of the Lama Falcons. You gonna sit here and show me two goddamn pet bulls fighting, and you want me to invest in front in that? 
It ain't talking about Michael Vick deserve a second chance. Now that nigga don't deserve a second chance. That nigga deserve his ass whooped. That's what Michael Vick deserved. He deserved a motherfucker just walk up on him. I'm talking about do a Mayweather's, Tyson, and a Muhammad Ali. I'm talking about he, Michael Vick need his ass whooped like Vincent Casey got his ass whooped. See what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, I got to go there. I had to go there. Because there's no way in the motherfucking hell that I'm going to be worth 177 million dollars and two goddamn pet bulls fight. But it changed the world. Cause I'm tell you how. I'm tell you what's going on. I'm tell you. I'm, I'm coming to this right here. You see. I'm, I'm trying to bring you to the point. All right. So I'm on the workers' comp. I'm in therapy now, right? So my my therapist, you know, she's a female, blonde. She's straight. She's she beautiful. You know, Bobby doll blonde. She thick. She all right. Anyhow, the subject came up by the damn dog. Her dog is in a daycare. A daycare. $75 a day. A damn dog. You know what I told her? She got mad. This is what I told her. I said, damn. You can pay me $50 a day. I live right down the street. You ain't got to cut through that traffic. You know, because, you know, fall coming, winter coming. We have some bad winters up here in Cooksville. We have some real bad winters. You really can't get out. You really can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You got to call in to work and some more shit. So, uh, well, you don't understand. They, they trims his nails. They give him a bath. They read him a book. Hell, I ain't do all that. Fifty dollars a day. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save you twenty five dollars. You paying seventy five dollars a day. See what you done done, Michael Vick. And she got mad. She got offensive. Cause I told her. She said, "Well, you being sarcastic." And Walter, I don't appreciate that. Then she got to crying. The white bitch got to crying because I told the bitch that I would keep a dog for fifty dollars. She got so upset. I didn't know that a grandmama gave her the dog and the grandmama passed away of cancer. I didn't know the history of the dog. All I was trying to do right now, since I'm on the workers' cop, my job fired me. I don't have a job. I'm trying to, I, I told her I babysit the damn dog. I know how to cut a dog toenails. I know how to give a dog a bath. Basically, what I was trying to do get that $50 a day. You see what I'm saying? Put some money in my pocket. But she, she took it like I was being sarcastic. But I wasn't being sarcastic. I was being truthful. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Uber. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I can, I can, hell, I, I, I raised a nine-year-old child. Me and my wife, when we first met, her dog was five months. I done raised her. You think I wouldn't keep a dog for $50 a day? And then I asked, I said, well, damn. What happened? Just taking him outside, chaining him up, you know what I'm saying? Put him some water and put him some food. Well, he'll turn that over. He'd never been outside. He'll turn over the first motherfucking day. But after he realized he done been outside seven hours without no goddamn food and water, he won't turn over the next day. That's what I try to tell her. And she, and she took it, man, offensive. I'm talking about crying, man, like she was walking up to a Catholic or something. That's how she was crying. She had to take a break away from me. And then they're going to threaten me and tell me that the next time I speak on something like that, they're going to counsel me from the therapist. Yeah. You tell me a damn dog got more rights and more love and more protection than a black man. That bitch got to crying because what I see. Hell, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to make a hustle. I'm right down the damn street. You got to go in all the way on the side of town. The dog at daycare. $75 a day. A damn dog. A damn dog. And now here I am collecting cans to get a damn beer. And this motherfucker, this bitch here is paying $75 a day for a damn dog to be seen too. Mmm. So that's what I'm saying. Michael Vick and OJ Simpson, man, they done fucked the world up for a black man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Both of them son bitches done fucked the world up. The white bitch was crying. I mean, when I said that, man, I was being, she thought I was being sarcastic, but I was being truthful and fruitful like a motherfucker. Because I wanted that money. I was, she paying $75 a day. She paid me $50. i am going to cut his nails. I'm going to give him a bath. I'm going to feed him. I'm going to read him a story. Or we'll watch a movie on, you know, the PlayStation, whatever. I'm going to do whatever for $50 a day. But anyway, and anyhow, I'm up out of here. And just think about this black man. Michael Vick, a damn fool. O.J. Simpson, a damn fool. And he just, both of them two Negroes, it's made it hard for a black man if you really just sit down and think about everything. Peace out, one love.